hi welcome to this lecture in this lecture I'm going to show you how to use soft selection and the symmetry option inside Maya so here I'm you know, using my one of my model here and let's see the soft selection first if you go to a particular component mode let's say the vertex and if I select one vertex uh, as you can see I'm just moving that single vertex and let's say I want to move this whole area softly and with a follow-up so that time I'm going to use the soft selection so let's double click on the move tool to get the tool settings of that tool and here you can see we have some options and if you go to this soft selection click on that to expand and here is the soft select and you have this option for select tools move rotate and scale tool so basically if I turn on here it's going to also turn on with these things now inside the select tool you can see it's got automatically turned on here so basically this is the common option for you know move rotate scale and select so let's go to move tool here and I turned on that and now if I select one vertex you can see this color coding now uh, the selected vertex area is yellow then it goes to uh, orange and then it goes to black and you can see it shows the fall off this bright yellow area is the most you no know, intense area you can see if I move that single vertex it's going to move the whole area softly with a fall off and now you can see obviously I can go and decrease or in increase this fall off by adjusting this fall off radius here I can adjust from here you can see uh, sometimes the fall off is too high if you select one vertex you can see the full yellow color and if I move that single vertex it's moving the whole object because of the big fall off radius so let's decrease the fall off you can also uh, increase or decrease the fall off by holding the B key and hold the left mouse and drag by doing this you can again interactively change the fall off radius and now let me you know let me inflat that cheek area so I need a little bit more fall off so let's increase it and let's select this vertex maybe let's pull so I can pull that single vertex and you can see softly I'm adjusting that area so so this is the basic no soft selection we have some other options but uh, in this case you don't have to learn the full thing here or we don't have to go deep into it so just know there is an option like this and when you press B key it's turned on or off you can press B to turn on and again press B to turn this off you don't have to even come here you can uh, just select a vertex or you can select basically anything you can select a face and turn on the soft selection you can select an edge or you can select multiple components so this is soft selection and let's say I want to you know inflate the cheek area so at the same time I want to also adjust this side so that time I need to turn on the you know, reflection or the symmetry so let's see how to turn on that so let's select this and in order to turn on the reflection or the symmetry again we can go to the move tool settings by double clicking on it and then let's go to the symmetry settings and here you can uh, click on this little uh, note down triangle and there will be a you know, drop down list and from this you can choose object x object xyz or world xyz so basically in this case it doesn't matter if I choose object or world because it's exactly at the center so if I choose let's say object X now you can see this side you now got automatically selected and if I adjust now I'm adjusting this side but this side is also you no know, reflecting or you no know, adjusting so you can do this and uh, now it says to you no know, object X so let me show you the difference between this object and the world axis uh, symmetry so let's bring something and let's put this object you now out of the center of the grid or the world space so basically if I go to front view this is my center of the world space and this you no know, world X 
is going to work with this center so here if i use let's say waldex it's going to work it's going to work because this model is exactly at the center here and this symmetry this wall symmetry is working but this model is not at the center and if i choose this waldex it's not going to work you can see it's not going to select this one because again waldex is you know working with this center line and you can see the model should be at the center line so in this case i can use the object x and it's going to work with the object center not the wall center so it's going to look the object center and it's going to choose the other side so this is the difference if you have the model at the center then it doesn't matter whether you choose object x or wall x but if it's out of the center you need to choose object x because wall x is not going to work so yeah uh, you can also turn on the symmetry from here if let's say you don't have this open this window and we can turn on the symmetry from here you can see the object is, is x is on we can turn this off from here or we can you not know, turn that symmetry from there as well so let's click here and turn this on so you don't have to go to the tool settings again so yeah so this is soft selection and symmetry very useful make sure you practice this and in the next lecture we are going to see how to hide and show different parts from the scene uh, to work efficiently